Meanwhile, the baseball backlash is getting louder. Major League Baseball will reportedly move the 2021 All-Star Game to Denver's Coors Field. That after pulling the game out of Atlanta over upset over the Georgia voting law, which obviously they did not read, now Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell is warning CEOs to stay out of politics. Watch. I found it completely discouraging to find a bunch of corporate CEOs uh, getting in the middle of politics. My advice to the corporate CEOs of America is to stay out of politics. Don't pick sides in these big fights. Probably a good idea. Joining me right now is the Washington Examiner's chief political correspondent, Fox News contributor Byron York. Byron, it's so great to see you. Thanks very much for joining me this morning. Your reaction to all that has played out here. I mean, you look at the Colorado uh, voting law. It's actually not as good as Georgia, because Georgia is offering 17 days in-person uh, pre-voting, and, and Colorado's is 15 days uh, for early voting. Both states have uh, a requirement of an ID to vote by mail and in-person. So, I mean, it just, it's a head-scratcher here. Your reaction? Well, this was totally predictable that when Major League Baseball took the All-Star game out of Georgia because of this law, which you're absolutely right, they must not have read, uh, then wherever they took it, people would look at those states and compare the law to Georgia's and say, well, gee, is that okay with Major League Baseball and is Georgia's not okay? Now, there's another issue. There's several issues here. Uh, one, which is that there is a Major League Baseball team in Georgia, the Atlanta Braves. They play in Georgia. Other teams from around the country come and play in Atlanta. Is that okay with Major League Baseball? And by the way, there's one other thing. There's a, for golf fans, this is Masters Week, a huge week in golf, a tournament played in Georgia. And the commissioner of Major League Baseball, Rob Mandel, happens to be a member of Augusta National Golf Club. So there's just all of these issues raised by this one decision to move the All-Star game out of Atlanta. Yeah, that was incredible. You're you're referring to Rob Manfred, uh, the chairman Man of MLB, and Marco Rubio came out this weekend, Byron, you probably saw it, and said, look, give up your membership to Augusta. It's in Augusta. Uh, it's Georgia. I mean, you know, so, so what do you think is going on? I mean, these guys, CEOs, MLB, they're not dumb, right? I mean, they, they certainly have gotten to the heights of their company's chairman and CEO level by being smart, we think. So what did they do? Did they not read the Georgia law? Were they just bullied by the progressives and the activists and the mobs who are all over social media, bullying them that they just rolled over for it? What went on here? I think that there is an epidemic of fear among a number of CEOs. And, and look, a lot of business operates uh, on, the, on fear. It's a very Darwinian world out there. There are competitors always trying to take your place. Um, there are always new threats. So I, I think that a lot of this is based on fear. And in this case, you had the president of the United States mischaracterizing, let's be nice and say, mischaracterizing the Georgia law repeatedly coming out in favor of Major League Baseball moving the All-Star game on account of the of the law. And now you've, you've led to just weird things like uh, United Airlines released a statement yesterday of its position on voting and voting rights and said, by the way, that its mission was to, quote, unite the world. Didn't know that. Uh, but they, they, they feel like it's necessary to release their position on voting rights. So there's something weird going on in, in, in corporate leadership at this very moment. Well, I'm really glad you mentioned President Biden coming out with the way that he did uh, pretty aggressively against the Georgia law. That's important because obviously that colored people's expectations and, and uh, you know, assessments of the law. I'm, I'm wondering if he's going to come out and correct the record. Come out, Mr. President, correct the record. Make sure people understand what the law is because clearly these CEOs and Major League Baseball don't.